ओके ओके यू नो एज ए थर्ड इंडिविजुअल यू सराउंड बाय दिस पर्प सराउंड यू सी दिस पीपल आर पीपल ऑल अराउंड यू कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट इन सम वेज टू गेट यू टू एक्सेप्ट दिस थिंग्स um those are at least the ones that want to be seen you should see the those who aren't don't want to be seen i mean if you know if you if you ever seen cowardness in 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 the flesh is what they are but you should hear the way they make themselves sound the reason why they don't want to be seen is because in my at least on, on my end i know who that they're doing the things to make me experience what i'm experiencing right and i'm hearing this trust tell me they're hell and whatever because they, they talk about how they're going to frame me and they're going to do this and this horrible things are going to happen to me but if you see who's talking to me you would understand that first of all you obviously just the bottom feeder and if you see me and you see them you understand that i am not somebody who will ever be subscriptive to these people now my brain is what the technology is capable of doing is overriding your brain i understand that I can this nothing can do. I know who I am. I know that they want me to subscribe to this fantasy they've put together. That's their job. They have sold their soul to actually entities filled with pedophiles. And I'm glad that this bottom fear is lived this life. They they talk about how they're prolonging my life to to make it more hard and I was like let's in prolong it so you can be involved in these nasty things before things happens to you. to I'm not talking about as people who are like living lavishly, right? It's not people that you look at them like oh my gosh, nothing but it's like they are so bottom feeders that you know easily that these people <laughs> take 2.5 seconds for you to get anything and the, the way they make themselves sound because of the specialness they feel when they're capable of doing these things to me via this technology right it's like delusional world you know yesterday they play with you know they bring up things that they make me experience that I've talked about it uh, even before this moment happened for example I was talking about how there's this like you know when I, I go on Instagram right when you scroll down sometimes they give you like recommendations and of course I know they control everything I see right and I'm now very scared to just go down and down because the reels those recommendation reels they're going to make me see something once they made me the the there was like this kid this like a 14 year old that started messing with me it's like oh this um and I look at her I I look at her, how old she is she's just 14 year old like that's what this thing was on my reels my recommendation because what happens is today my perception is so manipulated and i can I perceive things in different ways right i made this video in i think in october 2020 this happened last year right so this is the thing that they do i talked about things they do to me before even some of the things they try to make me like you see what happened so like, yes 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 like you remember when i was i, I was saying that this is what's happening yes but they try to gaslight you and say like, oh, you see now that's you it's like you eat bottom feeder just because you work for pedophiles and because the entities have contracted you fill this entity is filled with pedophiles and this tactic of pedophilia type of torture i'm never going to let you leave your fantasy and they using this the thing they're using hypnotic voices now it's you I'm, this is how they try to make themselves sound this is the kind of people who who are talking matter of fact those are not even the those are like Those are more influential if you look at them. If you saw who was talking to me. It is most like the the one that's closer to this picture. If even even weaker looking. You would you wouldn't believe it. And they make their face look like a, yeah, now as you you like trash. You fucking low life. Sorry for the language. You are a sad piece of f. I understand. I understand where you rank in this whole thing. I understand you just no, no, nobody here. No matter what's going to happen to me. I understand who put me in this program. They they were bringing up the same thing they mess I mean the same thing I've talked about in a regard of how they manipulate me. But this time they try to make, bring up a older kid like like I said this is like a 17 17 year old girl that that was dancing in this thing in this ways. I'm like if if I've talked about kids as young as nine years old, there's videos of me talking about how they make me look at this nine year old in this sexual way, and nine year old. 
what you think they can do to a 17 year old who like and it is not, like a 17 like it would take a second to kind of look and see who you know how old she is exactly you know she's young but you don't know how young if they can do that to a nine-year-old now they're like oh you see now your pets you did we test it that was a test right and it's funny one with the person all the way at the end there with the glasses she's like no we just this that was a test and this is how you reacted to this test right this is something that made me experience last year right i have videos in 2020 talk about how all this manipulation the perceptions and all that and then it's like no we test it's you no it's you and they use this like hypnotic <laughs> like a child trying to sound hypnotic like in the, in the hypnotic voices and they use their faces in this fashion i've seen them just like because i used to work when i worked at the office i've seen some of these people this pure bottom fears you know they're, they're nobodies um she just walked and she turns around she looks at me and she just like talk like that i'm like what is oh, jesus this is this is the bottom fears it's almost insulting to know that these are the people that this entity have contracted to to be involved in my targeting this is the bottom feed it's like it's just like ugh, it's just such a weak low life you think i'm going to subscribe to this yesterday i was that close to like show this person this kid who you know this this young person that they mess with me i'm like this like just to, to because they want you to identify with these things it's like no i know you they made me have a strong weird sexual stimulation and of course my perception they're gonna mess with me it doesn't take much if they can do that to a nine-year-old for me to kind of force me to look at a, a a older kid in in a sexual way it's gonna be easier since they can do that to a nine-year-old kid that's a baby to so somebody who's closer to an adult they can make especially in that video when she was dancing like in the video you know it's it's a little bit closer you the perception can be so easily ma ma more manipulated than the nine-year-old. When you see the profile picture, you see like a skinny little, it's like, oh, it's like, okay. And you hear this trash, like, yeah, there's something there. It's like, yeah, okay. There's something there. Is it, is it not the something that you, you being my brain? There's been something there in the nine-year-old. This bottom feels are disgusting trash. And you see this low lives. They are supposed to get you to accept this. It's like, they can, they're going to rape you. They're going to say, what is it going to do to you, you pathetic low life? This is what you had to do for a living. Or you, this is what you involved yourself. I never subscribe to it. Regardless of what rape and torture I'm going to go through, this is never going to let... I will never let you leave your fantasy. This is never going to change the fact that you have been in a program that tried to rewire people and manipulate people in this ways. And I'm not the only one. You're going to hear that. Every time I speak now, I'm going to make sure... That you hear others saying the same thing because what they do has a, has been done to others systematically and they try to agitate you using these tonalities that they're supposed to they learn from the scripts you see who it is oh my god terrified of you terrified in a sense that you're going to strongly see them for the bottom fears the god the this bottom fears that the government uses filled with pedophiles they try to make themselves be like, oh, this different side. You see the, the one with the glasses over there? She, she is, she are, you know, like, she, I'm supposed to be, she's a perp that's, we're, you know, like, she's trying to be like, pretending like she's, she, she wants to be with me uh, romantically. I'm such a fraud. Gee, I never see somebody having to dumb themselves down. And she's and she's trying to make it seem like she's going for this feminism. I'm like, wow! Listen to what they do to women. I will never let them escape into that fantasy. And they get so excited, you're gonna be, you go, you won't be. This kid, who, you know, this this young person. Same thing. I've talked about in a regard of how they manipulate me. But this time they try to make, bring up a older kid, like, like I said. And it's like, no, we test it, it's you. No, it's you. And they use this like. 17, 17 year old girl that, that was dancing in this thing, in these ways. I'm like, if, if I've talked about kids as young as nine years old, 
This video is of me talking about how to make me look at this nine-year-old in this sexual way. A nine-year-old. What you think they can do to a 17-year-old who like, and it's not, like a 17, like it would take a second to kind of look and see who, you know, how old she is exactly. You know, she's young, but you don't know how young. If they can do that to a nine-year-old, now they're like, oh, you see, now your pets, you. Did we test it? That was a test. Right? And it's funny, one of the person all the way at the end there with the glasses, she's like, no, we just, this, that was a test and this is how you reacted to this test. Right? This is something that made me experience last year. Right? I have videos in 2020 talk about how all this manipulation, the perceptions and all that. And then it's like, no, we test it, it's you. No, it's you. And they use this like hypnotics. <laughs> like a child trying to sound hypnotic. Like in the, in the hypnotic voices. And they use their faces in this fashion. I've seen them just like, because I used to work, when I worked at the office, I've seen some of these people, these pure bottom fears. You know, they're, they're nobodies. Um, she just walked and she turns around. She looks at me and she just like, talk like that. I'm like, what is, oh, Jesus. This is, this is the bottom fears. It's almost insulting to know that these are the people that this entity have contracted to, to be involved in my targeting. This is the bottom feed. It's like it's just like ugh, it's just such a weak low life. Do you think I'm gonna subscribe to this? Yesterday I was that close to like show this person, this kid, who you know, this this young person that they mess with me. I'm like this, like just to, to because they want you to identify with these things. It's like no, I know you. They made me have a strong, weird sexual stimulation, and of course, my perception they gonna mess with me. It doesn't take much if they can do that to a nine year old for me to kind of force me to look at a, a a older kid in in a sexual way. It's gonna be easier since they can do that to a nine year old kid that's a baby. To somebody who's closer to an adult, they can make especially in that video when she was dancing. Like in the video, you know, it's it's a little bit closer. You, the perception can be so easily ma ma more manipulated than the nine-year-old. When you see the profile picture, you see like a skinny little, it was like, oh, it was like, okay. And you hear this trash, and now there's something there. It's like, yeah, okay. There's something there? Is it, is it not the something that you, you being my brain? There's been something there in the nine-year-old. This bottom feels a disgusting trash. And you see this low lives. They are supposed to get you to accept this. It's like, they can, they're going to rape you. They're going to say, what is it going to do to you, you pathetic low life? This is what you had to do for a living. Or you, this is what you involved yourself. I never subscribe to that. Regardless of what rape and torture I'm going to go through, this is never going to I will never let you leave your fantasy. This is never going to change the fact that you have been in a program that tried to rewire people and manipulate people in these ways. And I'm not the only one. You're going to hear that. Every time I speak now, I'm going to make sure that you hear others saying the same thing because what they do has, a, has been done to others systematically. And they try to agitate you using these tonalities that they're supposed to, they learn from the scripts. You see who it is? Oh my God, terrified of you. Terrified in the sense that you're gonna strongly see them for the bottom feeders, the, the this bottom feeders that the government uses, filled with pedophiles. They try to make themselves be like, oh, this different side. You see the, the one with the glasses over there? She is, she are, you know, like, she, I'm supposed to be, she's a perp that's, we're, you know, like, she's trying to be like, pretending like she's, she, she wants to be with me uh, romantically. Such a fraud. Gee, I never see somebody having to dumb themselves down. And she's and she's trying to make it seem like she's going for this feminism. I'm like, wow! Listen to what they do to women. I will never let them escape into that fantasy. And they get so excited, you're gonna be you go, you won't be able to talk. I said a lot. I'm glad I said what I need to say. To all my target individuals, never subscribe to these nasty things they do to people.
When I aggravated them I usually called demeaning names, and one of them is referring to homosexuals. For me all of the slaves are misfits, society haters, scumbags etc. No, I don't have anything personal against them, homosexuals, but as my way to aggravate the slaves, and since they love to use children for the torture and stalking, street theater etc. Especially teenagers for the stalking at close range with an attitude, they are using them during my sleep in the perversion program, and so you can imagine what the slaves of torture are pretending to do to me. In the last days, as today September 9th, 07, anything I do, either watching TV or reading of whatever I'm doing, they brush me sort of say, I feel like I'm aroused all day and I feel the palpitations in my genitals for what I'm thinking, and since the attack comes so quickly, I realized my programming has been set on auto, in their central computers, no handlers could do something like this that quick. What make me realized, the slaves are desperate to get me. Unfortunately for them they are facing a strong wall where no matter how much their computers EAP me, I know I'm not changing. As I said, I feel like they've been set up a beam where I feel constantly stimulated, I'm talking sexually, like a heat in my genitalia, like getting aroused constantly, trying to make me feel uncomfortable, because it doesn't stop. I can be free from this torture. Every day has been a miracle of survival. I also experience what is referred to as malodorance. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture, including the threat of planted dreams and videos in my closed eyes. In 2015, I began to experience what some call V2K, or voice to skull. This involves the projection of voices, noises, and music directly into my mind to communicate with me in real time and at the speed of thought. And it also includes the manipulation of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions in the person's mind. Additionally, the targeting is all highly perverted and sexual as well as destructive and violent. To try to take over my mind, putting thoughts of pet. It's disgusting, disgusting. This take this whole thing into account so much. I make it so dramatic. It is dramatic. It's somebody trying to end my life. It's somebody trying to end who I am as a person. It's somebody trying to take over my mind, putting thoughts of pet. It's disgusting, disgusting, disgusting things. And you saw where I was going with that first word. Disgusting things that I don't even want to talk about because it makes me sick. I don't even like those words in my mind. But it is what it is. So I have no choice now but to acknowledge that there are people in my in my surroundings or whatever they're doing. I don't know how they do it. I don't care. I don't know if it's through weapons. I don't know. I don't care. I just. The targets were forced to perform homosexual acts on each other against their will and religion in order not to be beaten or killed. This is a common breakdown tactic of belief systems and the human will. In no touch torture the techniques are more psychologically specialized for each target. Most common examples include homosexual targets that are forced with voices that are derogatory to their lifestyle and similar mental images. Almost all targets are forced to view child pornography in their minds. And vice versa is true, that heterosexual targets are forced to view homosexual sexual acts like in the so often see highly disturbing pornographic images and videos including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images and videos when I close my I can be free from this torture. Every day has been a miracle of survival. I also experience what is referred to as malodorance. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture, including the threat of planted dreams and videos in my closed eyes.
any part of the body. This technology can be used to sexually manipulate the target. It can make the target feel sexual arousal or it can sort of turn off the able to impose any information on the brain of a person, presumably by some kind of waves, which in the mind take the form of voices, thoughts and images and imagination. In addition to this kind of implanting information that they need, they manipulate the psyche so that the information is written into your memory. Then by stimulating the certain regions in the brain they can retrieve this information and present it as your own memory. This is the conclusion that can be made judging by the influence they have been making on me with their psychotronic weapons, for example artificial thoughts, imagination, and mental torture. Occasion, I was told I was going to be shot in the face, and it was an older guy. He was like really, really disgruntled and pissed off. Yeah, she's going to be shot in the face. You know, some like an angry ass old person. You know, then a couple of days later, a female said the same thing. Don't get shot in the face. You know, stupid shit like that. But what I really noticed is with the voice of skull, it's a bunch of females. You know, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> really? You're not a woman. What real woman would stalk another female or sit back and allow that to go on? You you really think they they think it's nothing wrong with them. Basically, you know, they call me a retarded bitch and all of this here, but I was top of my class and everything that I did. You know, every class I took, I excelled in my, I excelled academically. So, I am currently a speech language pathologist working in private practice with young children. I had a seven year old client who has autism, and she was the most significantly affected of all of my clients. I eventually had to tell this client to go to another clinic. And they used her to threaten the most torture in me as well as their most extreme forms of torture. For several months, she would cry and scream horribly during our therapy sessions, despite having a great day at school. This was highly unusual behavior for her, as she usually behaved very well during her therapy sessions and had been making incredible progress on all of her therapy goals. This was used to threaten extreme torture on me, making me scream and cry, etc. They would make the kids act out the kinds of torture that would later be done on me. For example, they would also sometimes make her bite her hand, threatening to make me bite my hands, as they often do. One day, she had a large, severe bite mark on her arm. She has also grabbed her crotch, saying, ow, and this was used to threaten me with severe sexual torture. <clears throat> One day, I was observed one day, I also observed her gasping for air a few times in the same way that I do when I am being more severely suffocated. The suffocation had been in a mild state for a while up until this point. Many of their torture methods are cyclical in severity. Right after I saw this child being suffocated, then I began to experience very extreme suffocation all day, every day, for about the nature of the torture I have been experiencing has been highly sexual in nature and highly perverted, involving many combinations of sensory and motor manipulation of my mind and body and of the people around me. This includes many different types of zaps to varying degrees to the genitals, butt, anus, and the entire pelvic area. This also includes many kinds of movements, such as the rocking, swaying, jolting, vibrating, and shaking of my entire body or various body parts, specifically in a sexual way. The severe vibration is a highly noxious stimuli and is very intolerable. They sometimes do pulses or throbbing sensations on the genitals too, etc. There are also body movements, such as rocking my pelvic area back and forth, repeated rubbing sensations, the sensation of something going up my crotch and in and out, etc. They also often force vaginal discharges and zap my genitals at the same time. These sexual assaults are present throughout the day, every day, and any time I am awakened at night, every night. They range from mild to extreme but usually involve daily and nightly continuous assaults for the past three years now. When severe, the zaps to the genitals feel as though someone is electrocuting my genitals repeatedly. I 
is highly synchronized in real time. had sexual contact with a two-year-old and a six-year-old. He was simply fired. One employee purchased sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. He resigned. One employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually abusive images of children while on agency assignments. Not sure what actions, if any, were taken by him. One contractor... Oh, that's, well. the, that's the thing. The rest of the cases, they were sent back to the CIA to handle them internally. Well, don't worry, Stephen. I think a few of them were fired. Yeah. Well, the rest. Oh, is, well. Th that's the thing. The rest of the cases, they were sent back to the CIA to handle them internally. Whatever the hell that. Where think do you about think that? The work? CIA. That must mean there is such a lack of fearing any sort of accountability for crying out loud while on assignment. Fourteen hundred. You must have not been doing any job. <laughs> well, even if you had to look at it to make sure you knew what it was, don't you just need to look at one? Right. You're like, I better check the other 1,399 yes, just to be safe. Yes, I better Each check the file. other 1,300 labeled tax things. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. And the guy with the six-year-old? Disgusting. Twice. Yeah, twice. Twice with the six-year-old. So out of the, and here's the scariest part. Out of the 10 instances uh, that are described in the report, only one person was ever charged with anything. Wow. Yeah. With anything. Comment below... Do you guys know this story? This this should be catnip for the media, right? Think about it. You've yeah, got you've got yeah. this lewd behavior. You've got corruption at the highest levels of government, right? Aaron Brockovich, something about fake tits and tap water. Yeah. <laughs> this the CIA raping children and sexually assaulting children, and they're not being prosecuted. Where, where are you? Uh, eight billion brains. You're a worm until you're mm -hmm. part. Their scripts um and they're meant to confuse the very derogatory uh that's just typical breakdown if, you know if you've ever been to boot camp you're a you're a worm until you're mm -hmm. part of the team and why would you want to break down the ego of that person to rebuild it mm -hmm. so this gets into creating manchurian candidates split personality spies and uh information couriers, people that will carry the V2K. So they'll say, we're the Russian government, we're the Chinese government, we're evil aliens, we're Satan's, you know, satanic ritual abuse. Uh, we're, and I've heard all the stories. One guy believed it was uh, some 14-year-old kid with an Xbox that lived next door. The trickery really is that great when you're under hypnosis that people will believe something other than a massive government uh, could do this. Um, and so anyway, what, you know, our inter my interview with Len, he very well described a typical breakdown script that's used on almost all the TI victims. TI stands for targeted individuals. Um, some of them are pretty crazy. They go, they have names like Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, um, and those are the confusion tactics. And when they're breaking down the ego of the human through all the pains and tortures and, and the verbal breakdown, um, these are typical CIA torture scripts. I mean, <laughs> Kubur, Kubark manual. Mm. The, and they do good cop, bad cop interrogation called Jeff and Mutt. And uh, they go right through the list, right? Just textbook. So whoever the handlers are on the other side of this synthetic telepathy, they're following the handbook perfectly. And I'm a victim of organized stalking, electronic harassment, microwave torture, B2K abuse, and I'm asking you to help us end this crime against humanity, which has impacted men, women, children all around the world. Hi, I'm Wan from Malaysia. My family are targeted individuals. We are victims of cyber torture. 
and I will not give up. I will fight to the end. And I'm a victim of organized stalking. We need stalking, this to stop. Electronic That's harassment, it. sir. And I'm speaking to you on International Targeted Individual Day. I live in the U.S. in Illinois, and I'm a victim of organized stalking. We need stalking, this to stop. Electronic That's harassment, it. microwave torture. I've been a targeted for nine years. Twenty-four-seven. Please become more aware of this crime and those that the crime is being committed against. We need your support and help in ending this crime. Hello, my name is Wendy Brown. I'm a targeted individual who is living in New Zealand, but my targeting began in California. I'm an American citizen and the targeting continues in New Zealand. I'm making this video and um, Remembrance of Targeted Individual Day, our third annual Targeted Individual Day. And I'm asking that every honest-hearted human being open their eyes to a crime. My name is Jeanette. I am 56 years old and I live in Baltimore, Maryland. I am a victim of covert electronic harassment and torture. I am a targeted individual. Uh, hello. Why? Because it hurts. I need help. I need you guys to come get me. It's brutally painful. I have a house, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, first floor, second floor, two garage, backyard, land, everything. Can't live in my house. My neighbors are shooting direct energy weapons through my house. I hold my heart like this. You know why? Because it hurts. I need help. I need you guys to come get me. Come get me. Oh, Lord, because I think I'm dying. I'm making this video for in an attempt to expose this horrific nightmare. Hello, I'm making this video to honor the third annual Targeted Individual Day. That's August 29th, 2020. My name is Linda Marie Sharp in Mendocino County, California, United States. I am a targeted person and have been for over 12 years. I am electronically tortured by directed energy weapons. Hi, my name is Lisa Davis and I'm in Duluth, Minnesota. I am a targeted individual.